As I said, before the show starts, I'm backstage in my dressing room, and I watch the audience dance before I come out here. And I saw this one audience member dancing before the show. Uh, take a look at her. She, look at this. Look at that. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, that's right. So I wanted to meet her. Where are you? Come on down. I just love this entire look. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. And you just look so happy. What is your name? My name is Chiang Agutu. Uh, that's right. Kazuntai. Um, <laughs> A Chiang. A Chiang, yes. A Chiang. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, where are you from? I'm from Kisumu, Kenya. Oh, wow. Yes. That's amazing. I actually know a little bit more about you than I'm pretending to know. I do know that you're from Kenya, and I do know that you used to watch the show in Kenya. <laughs> and that you learned some English from watching my show? Yes. So How did you do that? <laughs> people told me the best way to learn a language is through um, watching music or like le listening to music. Right. And so when I used to see artists on your show, I used to like take down notes on the songs that they wrote and then I'd go to a cyber cafe and look up the lyrics and then learn the lyrics and then, you know, therefore learn English. So, wow. Because yeah. I was watching you, you know a lot of lyrics of just about every song that we played on here. <laughs> and I was like, okay, and so what made you move to the United States? So I moved here um, about five years ago with um, the Graces, my host family, and I moved here for higher education. Um, and... Uh, Sorry, I'm just so excited that I'm here. But um, it's been amazing, and it's also been really hard for my family back in Kenya because they've honestly done every single thing that they have from like selling land to taking loans, borrowing money, to be able to you know pay my school fees, but also just make sure that I'm comfortable here. Yeah, they're still in Kenya. Yes, yeah. they are. And you work, how many jobs do you work here? Okay, so I work one full-time job, my nine to five. I'm an admissions counselor at Holy Cross College. Right. Uh, but then I babysit for two families. Uh -huh. um, I wash people's how, like wash people's cars, I clean their houses, I'm an Uber driver, and then I also um, teach English to international students um, and some of the DACA students in the mm -hmm. South Bend area. So, but that's all, that's all you do? <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah. All right, and your family members, so it's your, who's, who's there? Okay, so it's me, uh -huh. my, my older brother Churchill, uh -huh. and then my, my dad and my mom. Yeah, and they're all three in Kenya. My brother is in South Africa, okay. but my parents are in Kenya. I see, okay. Yes. Well, I kind of, uh, th then they, they help a lot of families there too, right? Yes. Um, yeah. So my parents really want to give back to the community because they feel like they've been really blessed. Um, and so my parents um, are helping about 10 plus um, kids from our family, but also like from the village that they live in. So they're paying for their school fees, um, like uniforms, books, all that fun stuff. That is incredible. Yes. All right, well... <laughs> We, we sent, this is, I can't believe that we were able to do this. We sent a camera crew to Kenya. No. And South Africa. And so let's see if we can, look, look at that. All right. So, hi everybody. Okay. Exciting. This is the clearest picture we've ever had. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's been a while, right? How long has it been since you've seen Etching? It's been two years. <laughs> I miss you so much, Etching. <laughs> and and you t you two, your pay. Uh, your, oh, that, see, that's that's what I mean. All right. Well, we still have your brother. What's your brother's name? My brother's. He's my name. My brother's name is Churchill. I'm getting. I'm getting. What, it, it's the back here, right? Yeah. Like, I need to get the controls. Open the door, because we have to fix this. Open the doors.
not seen each other in two years. How does it feel to be together? Just Thank you so thankful. Much, this is amazing, and amazing. you inspire us so much. And the fact that you're able to do this is just amazing. So well, thank you. I think it, we feel grateful. It's immense for us. It's so huge. Well, we're grateful for for all of you. It's just it's amazing. So <laughs> I want. I know you want to help her out in getting an education. And we partnered with Walmart for the entire month of May to give away a total of $1 million to deserving people. I want to play a game so you guys have a chance to go home with some money. It's time for a million dollar May. <laughs> We didn't even rehearse that. That was great. <laughs> Here's what's going to happen. We're going to play three-card Monty. But since it's Million Dollar May, behind each of those cards is a certain amount of money, OK? Behind one is $10,000. Behind another one, $25,000. Behind another one is $50,000, OK? <laughs> We're hoping you pick the $50,000, because oh, obviously, obviously that's what we want you to go home with. So you have to remember where it is when we shuffle them around. <laughs> well, I lost you. Ah, yeah. I, I, I know where it is for sure. <laughs> All right. What do you think? Do y'all uh, just, 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 just like two? Two. Two. I think two. We're gonna go with two. All right. Let's hope it's fifty thousand dollars. Let's go with two. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,